Second Family, your boy Big Big. Welcome back to my black universe. You know what time it is. Unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. So, y'all know me. I try to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest from companies like Raycon. So you know what's hot, what's not, what's new, what's different. So, of course, I have to grab these joints right here. We got the everyday headphones from Raycon. First things first, I noticed the packaging is much different from the H20 trendsetters. So, I got these joints in a rose gold because I already have the ones in black. Let's read upon it. Relax. Plus materials and customizable fit. Don't distract you from relaxation. Commute, compact, folding design is perfect for having super, super comfortable sound wherever you go with built-in microphones. Keep up with work, whether you're heading into the office or heading home. Study, active noise cancellation filters, okay. Yeah, active noise cancellation, it filters out the distractions so you can keep your mind on your work. All right, cool, cool. So we see, okay, this is actually kind of nice. It's kind of nice, I don't want my little knife. So the picture on the website does not actually do this justice. These look nice, these look a lot better in person than they do on the website. I just thought they were white and they threw a splash of pink on there, or rose gold rather, to give it a, quote unquote different look but you still got some of the satin silver right here so these are these are really okay it's kind of like a satin white can you I think you guys can see that okay okay all right Raycon all right, so these controls do look similar to the H20 trendsetters. You see, it's kind of like a chrome finish for the rose gold right here, but it's like a satin finish. I'll take these are microphones right here for the ANC filtering. They're not heavy. They don't feel heavy. These feel, these feel pretty nice. Let's see what else you get. Now with better sound, you never miss a beat. You should buy instructions and power. Okay, so we have a. It is go, not your standard gold tips, but this is your wire connection, instruction booklet, and USB Type C charging cable. So you can put that up. Extra cables. I'll keep this out just in case they did something new. Let's look on the back. In fact, let me put this in the box. Let's look on the back of this real quick. Anything? Okay, five built-in microphones. Advanced noise, advanced noise canceling. Awareness mode. Okay. Three sound profiles, 22 hours battery life, all day comfort. All right, so basically it looks like they took the, the H20s and trendsetters and also my higher end ones. I forgot they were called because I sold those already. The silver joints. It looks like they took both of them, combined them together to make a new design. So these are the everyday joints. These are rose gold. They also come in black and in uh, frost white. So carbon black, rose gold, and frost white. Put this back up real quick. Don't lose this. I might keep these for a while. All right, so let's pair these up. Now we gotta grab the iPhone. You know what I gotta do? The iPhone. Do you want the iPhone? Oh, he's up. Let's look at him real quick. NC, noise cancel. So that's NC for noise cancellation. That's the noise button on here. And 
I take these are the additional microphones. USB Type C port. This is your 3.5 millimeter jack for your wired connection. You got your Raycon branding here. Raycon branding, Raycon branding. Left and right designation. And yeah, these are foldable. These look nice. Yeah, they could have been cleaner. Looks like brushed aluminum. But yeah, they, they will fold. Okay, so similar to last generation. Let's power it up. It's already in pairing mode. Let's go to the bottom. Everyday headphones. Connected. It says connected. All right, we're good to go. All right, so let's set it up with the camera. Do a listening test, and you know what we got to do. We have to compare these to the H20 trendsetters. Like I said, you can see real quick. Stark difference in presentation. This looks more premium. This looks very cheap. It actually feels cheap as far as the packaging. They're going on like a minimalistic look. Welcome to the next wave. Micro USB cable. So this is the last gen tech. As you can see, these have ANC as well, but this a switch. This has a button. And if you notice, nowhere near the same amount of microphones. So it's the same form factor. These actually feel a slight, slight heavier. Better build quality. You can see like this imperfection right here. So yeah. So Raycon stepped it up significantly. Well, the padding seems about the same. So yeah. We'll do a listening test side by side and see which one sounds better. Now, I will give these the edge, but these have the sound profile. If they implemented them right, like they did with the fitness buds and also the everyday speakers and the power speaker, then these are going to blow these out the water. But let's see. All right, fellas, so we're back in. So the listening test actually started listening to these immediately after I filmed the unboxing. I didn't do it on camera. Just kind of walking around the house and testing them out real quick. So, first I want to show you the Fitbit. So these, in my personal opinion, don't fit as well as the H20s. So the H20s, as you see, they're fully compressed. These I had to kind of open them up a little bit just to kind of get that fit. But the H20s, Trendsetters tend to fit a little bit better immediately, and it could be because I've worn these in. But I feel like they, they sit on their ears a lot better without having to adjust them too much. But I want to talk about the functionality before I talk about my listening experience. So, with your ANC button, your ANC button is a multifunctional button. You have ANC on, awareness mode, ANC off. Now, if you hold it for 1.5 seconds, you can cycle through the three sound profiles. The Valor Sound is the uh, default sound profile. Then you have bass, then you have pure sound that you can cycle back through as you need to, which is signified by a green like a turquoise LED. So, yeah. You have Plan Pause, which is your power button. You have Skip Back, which, which is also your volume down. And you have Skip Forward, which is your volume up. And the first thing I noticed about these is that, just like most Raycons, they do not get loud. Now, unfortunately, even with the new technology, these do not take advantage of, like, the power speaker where you have your Bluetooth volume from the phone. Then you can increase the volume on the device. Once again, it's still limited. But they are actually marginally louder than the H20 
trendsetters. So that's good. Now, let's talk about the ANC real quick. I'm not very impressed. It's marginally better than the H20s. Now, when you have five microphones compared to the two, I expect much better active noise counseling. Now, just like the H20s, it's not audible noises such as talking or listening to video that it drowns out. It drowns out ambient noises like a refrigerator or the air conditioning or just any ambient sounds, you know, just kind of sit here in an open room. It'll drown that out. It, it'll it'll uh, actively cancel out those frequencies. So, nothing right home about. It is what it is. But I'm expecting a little bit more because I feel like what Raycon is doing is starting to position itself to create more premium products. But certain things like this, people will not, they can't, they won't spend their money for. So, these are little things that I wish Raycon would address. Like, you know, even if they don't develop an app, let's say that's too expensive. You have a website, people can log in, do firmware updates. You know, USB Type-C um, connection, so it has the, th uh, the throughput capability. Do firmware updates that really take advantage of the hardware and show people like, okay, we're investing in ourselves in this way because the aesthetics is nice. It looks nicer, you know, similar form factor. It looks nicer, but, and, but it looks like it's gonna do so much more and then you use it as you compare it to last generation and it's not leaps and bounds. I feel like if you want to, you know, do things like this, it really needs to just kind of show out and like, okay, wow, this is so much better than, you know, last year. So now listening experience. One thing I noticed that Raycon has done that's really great with these is the latency. The latency is almost, almost zero. Like I was looking at TikTok videos and typically if you're looking at TikTok videos, you're going to connect it to a Bluetooth device, speaker, earphones outside like a like the you know AirPods or anything like that. There's usually that like half a second or half a millisecond uh, lag as far as the vocal speech pattern and what you hear. Almost no la no latency issues with these. So that's one thing that's really great. I like I like that a lot. Like you can use these and look at YouTube, look at your TikToks and peace or whatever. And you won't have those issues like you hear the sound after they've spoken, you know. So that's one thing that's super dope. Now, sound quality, of course, these are going to be better. You have the sound profiles, so they're going to blow this out the water as far as that. They take advantage of that, and they do a good job of, of you know, the crisp highs when you want to hear pure sound. The bass comes in nice and low. But once again, they just don't get loud. They don't. Now, the track I decided to listen to was a new track by Masego. I think I'm saying his name right. I hope I'm not butchering it. Dope track. It's called Yams featuring Devin Morrison. Question. Can I get to the yams? Sweet yams. Show me the way. So I would listen to it here, then I would listen to it on here, and you know, I was I was jamming it. I put it on bass mode. This doesn't have it. So of course it just really, really blows it out the water. So let's power it on real quick. I want you to kind of see the LED. Like I said, kind of like a turquoise compared to the switch, which was a blue LED, which you can activate even with the headset off. But because you have a switch, you can't do multifunctionality like three sound profiles and go through ANC and awareness mode. So, all in all, can I recommend these over the H20s? Yes. Though they are marginally better than the H20s, if you've never picked the H20s, you're going to think these are pretty awesome for the price. Um, I'll, I'll throw the price up here. And yeah, these are for the price, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good, but they could be better. They could be better. I feel like Raycon is on the cusp of being that company that can offer that great price value with not just a lot of features, but a lot of features that are done well. Raycon, you, you've gotten into either creating an app so you can really start, you know, pushing premium or premium products and give people that amount of control that comes with those higher price items or start doing firmware updates from the website. I, I just really feel like that will really, really, really push you guys into the next level because I feel like you're starting to streamline your product line 
and give you know consistent product. You're starting to build their brand identity and everything. Screams Raycon. You got the look. You got your logo. People know by branding. This is a Raycon product, and the Raycon products are going to have the three sound profiles and the other features. But you got to really, really give that uh, customization so you can start pushing more premium products like the power speaker. You know, at 250 bucks, I was nervous buying that. You know, I was like, man, I hope this is a must because that's 250 bucks. That's a lot of money for a speaker. But I'm thoroughly impressed. It sits over in the corner next to my computer. And when I'm cleaning up around the house, I power it up, turn on my tunes. We, you know, we clean up and do what we got to do. But I feel like the rest of your product lineup is not really taking advantage of what you guys are trying to do. So for me, I like these. They're not incredibly better than the H20 trendsetters for me. But if you're a newcomer and you're just buying headphones and you just need something $100 or less, these will work. That was my thoughts. Until next time, peace and black empowerment.